subtract and simplify. First of all, in order to subtract it, we should have the same denominator. But this one we don't have it, so we need to find common denominator. To find the common denominator, first of all, let's see if we can factor any terms. Especially for the first term, we can factor a lot. So let's look at the numerator. 4x minus 4. We can factor the 4, so we get x minus 1. Over for the denominator, it's a trinomial. We can factor into two parentheses. So x squared, we can factor to x times x. 15, we can factor out as 5 times 3. Well, basically we are looking for two numbers, multiply together give us negative 15, and the combine them together give us positive 2. So, well, we want positive 2, therefore 5 have to be positive, 3 have to be negative. Let's check. Positive 5 times negative 3 give us negative 15. Positive 5 add negative 3 give us positive 2. That makes sense. Now, keep going. Minus 3 over x plus 5. Now, in order to subtract them, they have to have the same denominator. Now, if we check it, for the second denominator, we are missing x minus 3. So, in order to make it to be the same, we are going to multiply x minus 3 on both numerator and denominator. minus 3. So let's write it down. On both numerator and denominator. Therefore we get now we have the same denominator. So all we have to do is keep the denominator as x plus 5 x minus 3 Let's subtract the numerator. So numerator, we have, let's do this, distribute it. 4 times x is 4x. 4 times negative 1, which is a minus 4, right? Now, I will suggest write a couple more steps. So it's minus 3 times x minus 3, right? So now, you can distribute negative 3 into x and into negative 3. So negative 3 times x, negative 3 times negative 3. Be careful with the negative signs. So that will equal to 4x minus 4, negative 3 times x, that will be negative 3x. Negative 3 times negative 3, that's a positive 9 over x plus 5 x minus 3 now simplify it 4x minus 3x we get x negative 4 plus 9 we get positive 5 x plus 5 over x plus 5 times x minus 3. Now we say we try to cancel the common factors. So x plus 5, x plus 5, we can cancel it out. We end up with, now you don't see any term on the numerator, but don't forget we have an invisible 1. 1 over x minus 3.